Okay, so in the last video, um, we talked about degrees and radians, we defined them, we talked about what they are, and we uh, discovered that pi radians equals 180 degrees. So if you want to, this is what you can use if you want to convert between them. So let's uh, see some examples here. So if we want to convert between degrees and radians, so let's look at uh, this way first. Okay, so if we um, want to convert from degrees to radians, multiply the number of degrees you have by pi over 180 degrees. So example one, uh, convert these guys to radians. So if we want to convert 60 degrees uh, to radians, then what we just do is take this and multiply it by pi over 180. Okay, because pi radians equals 180 degrees. Okay, so we're really just doing like a dimensional analysis type thing, kind of sort of. So uh, we're going to take 60 degrees, multiply by pi over 180 degrees. Okay. So 60 goes into 180 uh, three times, so this just equals pi over 3. Okay, and uh, for radians, um, you can just drop the rad. Um, so pi radians, pi rad, uh, you can just drop the units of measurement there for radians. Um, so pi over 3 radians uh, is equal to 60 degrees. So how about 30 degrees? So for 30 degrees, uh, multiply by pi over 180 degrees. Okay. And that's going to be, uh, well, 30 goes into 180 six times, so this is pi over 6. Okay. So pi over 6 radians equals uh, 30 degrees. Okay. How about 90 degrees? Well, just multiply 90 degrees by pi over 180 degrees. 90 goes into 180 twice. So this is pi over 2 radians. Okay. Uh, negative 45 degrees. So negative 45 degrees times uh, pi over 180 degrees. So negative 45 goes into, well, let's keep the negative out here, but 45 goes into 180 uh, four times. So this equals negative pi over 4. Okay. So um, 60 degrees, pi over 3 radians. 30 degrees is pi over 6 radians. 90 degrees is pi over 2 radians, and negative 45 degrees is negative pi over 4 radians. Okay. So that's converting from degrees to radians. You multiply by pi over 180 degrees. Okay. Now, uh, if we want to go the other way, if we want to convert from radians to degrees, we have to multiply by the reciprocal. Okay, multiply by the reciprocal, which is 180 degrees over pi. So convert these to degrees. So 5 pi over 6, if we have that uh, radian measurement, we're going to multiply that by 180 over pi. It's 180 degrees over pi. So the pi's cancel, that's good. Um, 6 goes into 180 30 times. 30 times 5 is 150. So this is 150 degrees. Okay, so remember, uh, for degrees, you've got to have that degree symbol there. But for radians, you don't really have to have a unit of measurement. Um, you just say rad or radian or nothing um, if it's clear from the context. So 150 degrees, got to have that degree symbol. Okay, negative 4 pi over 3. Um, if we want to convert that, that's going to be negative 4 pi over 3 times 180 degrees over pi. So the pi is cancel, and then 3 goes into 180 uh, 60 times. 60 times negative 4 is negative 240. Uh, now 2.7 radians. So radians don't have to have pi's on them. Just the nicer uh, radian angles do, like 5 pi over 6, negative 4 pi over 3, those are actually uh, nice radian angles, which we'll see later when we talk about the unit circle and things like that. Uh, but anyway, 2.7, you know, a radian measurement can be any real number, so 2.7, for example. So, um, but, you know, the process is exactly the same, so just multiply by 180 over pi. 2.7 times 180 degrees over pi. So that's going to be an approximate thing here, because pi is uh, an irrational number, right? So that's going to be uh, approximately equal to 154.699 degrees. Okay. So 2.7 radians is about equal to 154.699 degrees. Now, how about 1 radian? So we saw in the last video that 1 radian is uh, quite a bit larger than 1 degree, right? So we're going to take 1 radian and multiply by 180 degrees over pi. <clears throat> and it's going to be an approximate thing again. So if you toss that into a calculator, uh, you'll see that this is about equal to 57.296 degrees. Okay, so 1 radian is about equal to 57.296 degrees. So 1 radian really is quite a lot bigger than 1 degree, right? 
uh, almost 60 times as big. Okay, so one radian is quite a bit larger than one degree. One radian is about 57.296 degrees. Anyway, uh, that's an example, or a, a few examples, I guess, of converting between degrees and radians. And uh, also remember that for degrees, you got to have this symbol here, but for radians, you could say rad, you could say radian, or you could just drop the notation altogether and just say uh, like pi up here, for example. Um, so that's uh, some examples of converting between degrees and radians.